Ooh, got it. Go! Oh. Ooh, that was sick. Select to make your first pick. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Choose and pick the best one. Five, four, three, two, one. If you like the video, watch it, please like and subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, so you can stay up to date with the most latest content. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out all the links in the description below. But, with that being said, welcome back to another exciting episode of the Rivals of Ether Witch Spotlight. I'm your host, Jake, and today's character is Shelly, the Simulated Terror. This character is from Willie Snail game that came back out in March. I haven't actually had a chance to, get to play it, but based on what I've seen, it looks like a like kind of like a Super Meat Boy-ish platformer game. It looks really fun with this kind of neon vaporwave look to it. This character is made by Flopbox, so shout out to him for making a character. And I don't think I've ever went over a character by this guy, so... But with that being said, let's get right into the color. Shelly, Visualizer, oh, I love that color. Winter Demo. Human Rider, Dapper, Gogo Unicorn, Abyss, Game Boy, Infamous, Digi Snail, Sounds of Space, Sounds of Life, Sounds of Growth, Sounds of Computation, Global Snail, Global Snail Mark III, and Better Snail, Best Snail, Godly Snail, Snail God, Squid, Level Select, Water Pump, Shelly Jonas, Laser Show, Trans Snail, Mexadecimal. Whoa, that color. I think that's Truffle. Um, um, meow, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> I just caught that one. Gastropod, Snail Shaman, Lord Helix, Helix. Whoa, man, this is like 32 costumes. Definitely went all out for this character. And from what I can also see, this game has overwhelming reviews, but let's get right into it. Ooh, the design. And it looks like it has the Muno phone, too. So we have to check that out, too. But let's first guess these moves first. Jump. Okay. Jab. Is that like a cannon missile on the game? Okay. Worked out. Interesting. He doesn't really have a forward tilt. Down tilt. So his near and forward tilt are kind of the same. Down tilt. Okay. Up tilt. It's like a little 8 bit explosion. Near. Fair. So his near, fair. And neutral A are all the same. Back air. This is all obviously references to the game. There, it's up air. So they're all almost the same move. Not a lot of damage, but just chip, chip away. I guess it chips away for the bigger hits, though. Let me make them jump in here so we can get the up air. Back air. Fair. There, up here. Yeah, all, those are all just, just about the same. Except a fair and back here. Okay, four smash. Ooh, down smash. Up smash. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, fair is another property. It drops a block from the sky. I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, new smoker. What the heck is that? Obviously, he has some tether. Okay, I don't know what that does. Oops, yes. Anyway. Um, fourth level? What was that? Wait, does this have something to do with- hold on. Oh, let's- let's- so, Okay, so that has nothing to do with that. Okay. Force ball looks like it just throws out a little pebble. For those in the comments, that please let me know what the Oh, did it lock on? It's a lock on beacon? So it can lock on the enemy. That's cool. Down special. It's another light. I don't get it. They all must be tied. And down special movies tied to it. A special? 
So, so far, I don't know anything that's going on still. Wait, did the moves do? Wait a minute. I don't know. Let's, let's go to the moon floor. This is probably the best thing we should do at this point. Let's go ahead. Hello, human mind. Name is Squid. I'm the Doom of Human. <laughs> if I'm correct, this is the main antagonist of the game. I've hacked your dumb fighting game, and this is even dumber phone. <laughs> it's stupidly easy. Even even like you could have done it. But you did, and now you have to get to listen to amazing advice. I wrote all the best tips, tricks, and how to use this dumb character. So use them. Maybe you'll become .001% as skilled as me. Unlikely. That's fine. Shelly's movement. I, I like the little nuance how you brought the game into the game. The game within the game. Into the game. <laughs> Just like in, in the Source game, Shelly has a very fast twitchy control. Oh, I didn't do dash attack. That's the only thing I did. Twitchy control. He quick start to quick stop and falls very fast. In fact, high gravity to anyone else base cast, so be careful off stage. That's probably why I was able to fall so fast. Use this properly to your advantage. Wooly will show. I mean, show. Shelly, can't even talk right now, falls fast. Don't let this trick you to think he's heavy. Shelly is a lightweight character, susceptible to early chaos, so use your superior speed and range. So that's what it, he kind of does show pump for a big screen. A perfect opportunity, his kill moves are quite slow, so precision is key. Oh, just like the game. Makes sense. Though Shelly movement and air speed are fast, his dodge suffers. Having low distance, Gorge him also is slow, making his recovery rely on his out special. Okay, laser gun. Whoa, there's a lot here to take in, guys. This might be a long video. Sorry in advance. Shelly was a gun, not for neutral special. Not for his mutual spell, but for a, a whole bunch of moves. Jab, forward tilt, up air, nair, and dare all use this not so deadly weapon to attack, carrying some special properties. Oh, okay. While using any of these moves, Shelly can move almost entirely free aside from dashing, dodging, and canceling into other attacks. The jab, while it's held move forward will transition to a forward tilt as Shelly moves forward continuing to fire vice versa while stopping you can even turn around while maintaining this attack oh that's kind of cool so they're talking about this oh so you can just keep holding this move that's kind of cool I get what they mean okay that makes sense okay Okay, jumping during this continue holding attack will cause Shelly to continue firing with Nair. Jump. Double jump works as you would expect. Landing during Nair will put Shelly into a jab after enduring some extra landing leg, of course. While launching bullets, Nair continues. Sounds like a lot to deal with. Trade off is bullets being quite weak. Each bullet only does 1% of damage. It has a weak. Set of not that bullets can also be used quite easily to destroy by another attack. So fire wise, you may pay the price. Every third bullet will be more powerful. Launching an opponent into the air after this, the third bullet will gun will, will be on cooldown and will not fire anything. Jumping and moving works normal. Nothing being fired. Your opponent parries the bullet. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is still more with the laser gun? Far be more power launch opponent. Opponent will be Shelly. Okay. Unlike the, the moves covered above, these are distinct. It can't be canceled into. Despite this, they're still good for movement. Upwards, downward volley, Shelly, vertical boost, and not to mention the fire, a spread of five bullets. Will cover a wide area of points. Look for okay. I already know the upward volley gives a downward recoil, launching Shelly towards the ground while not immediately looking beneficial. This is what we use vertical mix up for getting back to the ground. Another jump and juggle the opponent. The downward volley is more immediately useful, providing small upward boost. Upward boost always handy with delaying fall. Go for Shelly, this is more useful. Using it stops Shelly fast falling speed 
and its track, making it easier not to fall too fast and lose control. Unlike the horizontal shots, volleys do not shelly into a parry stun when parried. Instead of entirely a group of shots will be sent flying back up in case up here will gain a point. Unlike the horizontal shots, do not put Shelly into parry stun when get parried. Entire group of shots are sent flying back at him. Okay. Really, I'm all info dumb pea shooter. This is why you species don't do it. That's funny. Moveset took much short time to comprehend. There is even a word such a small entire data. This is whole thing is funny. Okay, puzzle note. Okay, this is the most important thing I'm trying to figure out. There is a lot to take in here, guys. Place down a node to apply power to it for massive attack. Neutral special places the regular node. Down special place the power station. Plan to carefully the proper spacing movement and the lay out a pathway of pain. Shelly will pa pass a node. He'll link up to it. And nodes he link up to indicated by the line drawn between Shelly and the node while linked, dragged across the line. Shelly and another nodes link them. Nodes outside radius cannot be linked to another. One must be placed. Power station can be placed on the ground, but regular nodes can be placed anywhere. So I can put these in the air too to create a link in the air. Use the nodes bridge the gap. Once a power station is linked up to the node, it will align to farther along surge with power hitting your opponents across to activate the period shortly after by powering on node being dismantled. Though nodes are left unpowered, will stay up. This will allow Shelly a small cooldown before beginning to set up more nodes. While taking some effort, set up the attack power lines. Having a high knock back on the top sooner of your upstroke. So you're saying if I do this, this, and this. So my move's getting stronger, like I don't I don't get it still. Let's 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 restart this. I'm, I'm curious about something. Did my moves get strong while I was in there or didn't? Let me see the way it looks now. No, it's still the same move. Hold on. So you said I can place a note here. Place a note here, and place a note here. Oh, crap. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. So this, does this just charge on my attack? There's something I'm missing here about this. Any lines farther along? Taking some effort, set up an attack. Is well worth the stage control. Um, Born, you're going to put me to sleep with all this puzzle stuff. Someone wake me up something more interesting. See, I don't, I don't tend to understand. I understand you putting them down, but that doesn't really explain what they exactly do. So, does they power me up as a character? That's the part I don't really understand. I guess it powers up your upstrong. I guess that's the only thing I can think of. It must power it up. Um, Floppy Hawk, if you're watching this, please explain this more to me. Because <laughs> obviously I must be being an idiot or I'm just not getting it. Okay, use the boost to get through and dash shell it. Wait. Dash that. I don't think I did dash that there. Oh! I think I saw it. Did you see that? How they linked together like that? Oh, okay. You run through the power node. The power node connects to another. 
and that caused an explosion. I'm an idiot, guys. Okay, so without the power note, you can't do no nothing. So when you go from one place to another within a certain distance, it causes a slight explosion to knock them upwards. Okay, I get it. Now. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's because incredible mobility. Hmm. Can go forward and stop on a dime. So they're saying if you do dash that. Holy crap, you see that? So you can cancel your dash attack. That's cool. By heading back in the opposite direction. Okay, we're starting to get this character more. I'm be I was being there for a second. I know somebody's gonna say something in the comments like, oh, this let me explain this one. I just think this. Um block drop. Fair drops of block. Hit him behind above Shelly before the block is dropped. After the block is dropped, become projecta. Wolf fall. I will shatter the touching the ground thrown up close on the walls. Best used off at off stage. Okay. This is pretty straightforward. This move is no good. Use a little Okay, this is a little bit banner in between. If you want to read all the stuff in between, definitely check it out. Um back air. Air spike. Slow move packs up. Quiet punch. Shelly's most reliable care move. I'm not good with back air, so in, in this game specifically, so that's gonna be interesting. High knockback sends more favorable angle and strong, but harder to hit. The hitbox of this move lasts for two frames, so precision is a must. Along with Shelly, high fall speed can be tricky land, but when it does reward, it will be worth it. Long start, but long knockback. Okay, forward strong and turn. Oh, it changes depending on what person you're using, what skin you use. That's kind of cool. Launches three slow moving blocks. Large gun Shelly's back, having a good coverage range using move the point blank. Guarantee that all three blocks are dealing with powerful hit. When parry, the blocks are not reflected. Extend parry stunt. Okay. Down strong. Use this power deadly spring. Compel enemies as move. And there's a little banter in between, by the way. Be careful on the platforms along with the spike. Shelly slamming down also slightly smaller, weaker hitbox. One to two spikes will spawn when using this move on platforms. Your opponent parry spikes will be extended parry style. Okay. Up laser, okay. Above him is a laser tall hitbox covering a large space. Fairly so, be careful how you use it not to get punched. The opponent's parry laser, okay. That's an ongoing thing. Okay, up special. Pressing up special or jump. Shelly will pop out the bubble. Blah, blah, blah. You can. Giving a large downward spawn or preserves momentum. Oh, the bubble preserves momentum, huh? Oh, I see. That's the biggest thing to take. And you can jump out of the bubble, too. That is pretty straightforward. And lock on forward special. I locks on after using this move. There is small cooldown used wisely. Move some of the shots fired to by a laser gun, circular projectiles deal more damage. While they still break hitting solid walls, the cost is straight through platforms. Projectiles translucent, blah blah. Shots are locked into opponents when moved to initialize, meaning a lot more movement spread out. Try firing the shots, opponents will be stationary or moving along the stationary trajectory. Watch out for opponents pairing the move. And down special or wait. Air down special? Snail spike managed to hit the pump. This spikes? Oh, if you're in the air and down special does the spike. That's interesting. Noted. Then no down special in the air did something different. And I think that's it. But if you like what you're watching today, please like and sub. Sorry for the long explanation. You're welcome to skip pet at this point. But um to the fight, but let's get right to some fights, though. Let's do let's do the uh, the visualizer one I saw earlier. Oh, big Oh crap! I can't play this character like I'll play any other character, so I gotta kind of be patient with this character. Ooh. 
You were killing Kim about the kill part scenario. I'm definitely not winning a combo with this character. I love the, the uppy recovery though. The momentum that comes with it. Yeah, this character's gonna be hard to play with. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is not gonna be easy. Fair work, though. Go! We got something there. So close. Oh no, you don't. guys this character's gonna be hard i already can tell this character's gonna be hard and i know this video is gonna be way too long yeah we're already at the 22 minute mark that's crazy let's pick gary These shoes will go. Yes, this is the way of the ether. The power of Gary is strong with this one. SpongeBob will be proud. Oh, I had it. Point blank is not the best way, but pseudo towards the like mid range is kind of good though. Okay, we're getting this character now.
Oh, come on. We're slow again, this guys. The snail shaman, of course. Almost. Terrible. Now my point nodes are gone. They make it. That recovery is nasty. Oh no, you don't. We gotta kill this guy. No! <laughs> oh man, you hate this. You hate to freaking see it. Let's do Lord Helix. Looks like a freaking Armor Star. I wonder if this is an Armor Star Pokemon reference. Or if it is, just by accident.
Oh, if it landed. Come on, I tried it. Got this video went way too long. Let's do versus Biggie Bitty. that spike so badly it's fun. I just realized it's fair remind me of Game & Watch is fair oh no Goodness, so close. We're not going out like that, guys. Sick. Ooh, we got it! Finally! 
final thoughts, Shelly's a really good character, but really hard to play with. Definitely not a character I would usually pick, but still with a fun character. Um, shout out to Flophawk for making the character. Um, really, really fun character, but very difficult. This is definitely one of your more gimmicky, technical characters. But but anyway, this whole character's been a lot of fun. Y'all let me know in the comments says what you think of the um, the character. And let, and let me know if you think I should play the game. I might do a live stream playing the game. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon. Peace.